um hello students um i hope uh, you are all uh, waiting eagerly for uh, this uh, demo class uh, as you all uh, will be knowing today we are going to be talking about a uh, living and non living thing okay as you have also seen in the video right and it's a very interesting chapter okay so yeah before i start off i just want all of you all to have a look at this uh, thing that i'm going to show you now yeah can you all see are you all able to see right yeah so i want all of you all to just put in uh, you know just put it in the chat uh, uh, section uh, what is living and what is non living uh, that you see okay quickly just quickly uh, write one living thing and one non living thing that you see in the uh, that i'm carrying in my hand okay and then we will take it forward okay so living as a plant excellent uh, vrishab uh, uh, avni pot uh, soil is uh, non living excellent that that's what i was actually looking from you all plant is living soil and the pot is non living okay so i think to start with i think you all uh, you all have actually um, uh, started off with this uh, topic yes it's uh, correct plants are living and the pot and the soil that you see or the plate also that i was carrying is a non living thing okay right so now i'm going to share my screen uh, children yeah i hope uh, yeah you please uh, disable the annotation one second, one second. yeah annotation creativity is coming vinayak i can see your name right okay now i'll just uh, i'll just uh, make the slide a little big now right so to begin with uh, today's uh, topic uh, children living and non living things uh, you all have actually given me the answer plant is living and the pot and the soil that you saw is the non living thing now the major difference between both okay which goes hands down with i mean without even thinking is that living things have life in them whereas non living things don't have any life in them okay so um i can actually see most of you all are you know sending in a lot of uh, uh chats uh yeah so let's first have a look at this uh, video uh, children and then we will move to the next slide we classified into living and non living things things that can breathe eat grow move from one place to another have feelings produce their young ones and die are called living things for example deer butterfly bee and human being things that cannot breathe eat grow move from one place to another have feelings produce their young ones and die are called non living things for example bench kite balloon and seesaw living things need food and water all living things need food and water to live food gives us energy to do our work we eat vegetables fruits egg 
etc. We drink milk, water, juices, etc. Cows, buffaloes, goats, deer eat grass. Lions, tigers, leopards eat other animals. Most of the birds eat small insects and grains. Plants are the only living things that make their own food. They prepare their food with the help of soil, water, and sunlight. All the other living things depend upon plants for their food. Non-living things do not need food and water. Right. So uh, that was a very short introduction, uh, introductory video to our uh, topic uh, about living and non-living things. And it's very clear, all the living things uh, around us. I mean, basically, we can put all the things that we see around us into two categories. The first one is a living thing. And the second one is a non-living thing. Okay, all living things, basically, we move we feel, we uh, live for a, a certain period of time, we reproduce, we eat food, we grow, we breathe, okay? So we feel a lot of changes and we react uh, to different changes also, okay? But can a non-living thing do that, okay? Can a, a pencil box that I have or the phone that I have, can it um, eat, can it talk, can it move from one place to another? No. So that is the basic difference, okay? So living things have a life in them, non-living things don't. Now moving on to this slide, uh, children, uh, I just want all of you all to have a look at this uh, picture, this image. It actually gives us, you know, different examples of living things and non-living things in one picture, in one image, okay? So um, what we can say is that the swing, the seesaw, the buildings, uh, the road, um, the windows, uh, everything. These are all non-living things. Even the sky, the clouds, these are all non-living things. But the birds, swan, or the duck, the trees, the plants, these are living things. Okay. Now, let's um, uh, have a look at some of the examples of living and non-living things. Uh, living things are basically the human beings, uh, plants and animals. Now, animal kingdom or animal uh, category actually includes birds, insects, mammals, reptiles, uh, fishes, etc. Amphibians or all, also the animals that stay on the trees. Okay. So we can take the example of a plant, a butterfly, a bird and a giraffe. So these are all living things. Examples of non-living things, uh, children, they do not have life in them, like the phone, the house, car, book. Now, you would have actually seen in the video recording, I was actually telling you that car is actually driven by a human being. It moves from one place to another, but that doesn't mean that it is a living thing. It moves with the help of petrol or diesel, okay? But it is a non-living thing. Okay, so this uh, picture actually gives us uh, uh, some more examples of living and non-living things. Uh, children, uh, this boy, donkey, tree, flowers, birds, this plant, these are all living things. They all show some characteristic features of, that all living things perform. They grow, they eat, they breathe, they move, they reproduce, they excrete. But non-living things um, like the fan, or the cup, the straw, the pot, the stuffed toy, or the teddy bear. They don't move from one place to another, nor do they eat, nor do they grow, nor can they walk, nor do they re reproduce or excrete waste. Right. So this slide is uh, somewhat uh, very important for us to, you know, uh, to 
uh, have an understanding of what we mean by natural things and man-made things. Now, there are many things that we see around us in nature. They were actually uh, first made in nature. Some of them are living, some are non-living. For example, the sun, moon, river, rocks, soil. These are all natural things. They are non-living things. But many natural things can be living things also, like plants, animals, insects, birds, fishes, human beings. These are all living things. Okay, so you can all see the example in the picture, like the mountain, the river, the clouds, the sky, the sun. These are all natural things. They were made in nature. Whereas the man-made things, now these are the things that are made by man. Okay, they are not made by nature. Okay, and they uh, are purely made by man. For example, the road, as we take the example of the picture, the road, the lamppost, the building, the uh, traffic signal, uh, the pavement, everything has been made by man. So these are basically non-living things. Now it is also very important for us to know children something about fossils. Now I'll first tell you what is the meaning of fossils and then I will get into why we are learning about fossils in this topic. Fossils, as you can see in the picture, in the slide, uh, you know, you can see the uh, skeleton of the dinosaur, you can see the dead, uh, you know, the dead fish. Uh, these are the remains, you know, these are the traces of something that was living once upon a time. They have died and they have got mixed with the soil and the rocks. And after many, many years, people have actually dug out that and we have got to know that, yes, dinosaurs used to exist once upon a time. Okay, but now they are dead. So that brings us to the next topic. That is, there are many things that is living once upon a time, but later on, they become non-living things. They become inactive. They die. Okay, so they, there are examples of things that can be living. Uh, at one point of time and later on they can change to a non-living thing. For example, if you see in the picture a fallen tree branch, till the time it fell down, it was living. But as soon as it fell down after a storm, it got detached from the main uh, tree and now it has become inactive, it has become dead. Same way, the leather bag that you see, leather basically we get from animals. So. The animal is basically living. We have killed that animal to get leather from that animal to make the bag. So these are some of the examples. So in the same way, fossil uh, is basically um, an example of something which is living once upon a time, but now it is dead. Other examples I can say is the wood, fallen tree branch, or, uh, leather bag, dry flowers, dead squirrel, etc. Right, so I just uh, would encourage you all uh, children to uh, try to solve these two questions. You can write down the answers in the chat section quickly. I am white in color, I fly in the sky and I have wings. I am a non-living thing. Is it uh, option A, B, C or D? The first letter is already added over here. It's A, it starts with A. Yes, I can see a lot of you all are uh, thinking and uh, noting down the uh, answer in the chat section. Yes, so the correct answer, uh, children. What's the correct answer? Yes, 
I think I'm not able to see the chat. Uh, 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 what happened, Priyanka? Like, uh, I, I don't. I'm not able to see the chat. Uh, are you able to see? Uh, yes, yes, it's, yeah. yes, yes, it's. Yes, yes. Uh, Priyanka, just a minute. I'm just going to send you a text uh, test message, and then you can keep the chat open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you get it. No, I didn't get. Um, maybe you know you One can uh, stop share stop and uh, you know open the chat and then share again, or maybe I yeah, minimize it. Yeah, now I can see after minimizing the uh, PPT. Yeah, so you can keep it open separately, and then maybe you can maximize the presentation. Yes. Right. So I've actually got a lot of responses. Uh, children, it is uh, aeroplane, and uh, yes, the second question also answers. Most of you all have written excellent, uh, very good. It shows that you all are thinking and you are making your brains work, which is very good. Um, most of you all have given the correct answer. Uh, Avni, Pihu, Rijit, Vinayak, Ritam, Priyashi, uh, Ameya, Ritam. Very good. Yes, so it is aeroplane, the first one, and the second one is fossils. Now, moving on to the next slide. Yeah, so that this is another question. Take two minutes time, read it, and then try to answer the uh, question in the chat section. Yes, most of you all have uh, been sending me the correct answer. Yes, uh, it is fossil, which is an example of a thing that was once alive, and, but now physically inactive. And things like cars, phones, buildings that do not have life in them are called non-living things. Excellent, uh, children. Moving on to the next slide. So I'll just uh, make this slide a little big. And you all can stop uh, sending, uh, writing anything in the chat section. So let's pay attention to the slide, children. Uh, these are the seven life processes, okay? That is basically seen in all the living organisms or living things, okay? And these are the characteristic features of uh, living organisms. All living things move. We all respire. That is, we breathe. We are sensitive towards uh, our environment. We respond to changes. We uh, eat food and uh, we grow. That is a part of nutrition. Then uh, we can say uh, we excrete waste out of our body, okay, in the form of urine or sweat or feces. We reproduce, or we lay eggs or we give birth to live ones and we grow. Okay, so if you want to remember these seven life processes, if we take the first alphabet of each word, then we can get the acronym, which is Mrs. NERG. That is M for movement, R for respiration, S for sensitivity, N for nutrition, E for excretion, R for reproduction, and G for growth. So any doubts, uh, children? I hope you all are understanding and uh, uh, finding this uh, uh, session um, interactive. 